So, can we use the WWE's full name again, or are you too used to that to change back? I'm Chris Holt with a wrestling vlog who always tells it like it is. Since the WWE draft is ongoing, I'll just list the top 10 males and females from the main rosters below, as well as the top 5 main tag teams, NXT males and females, and the top NXT tag teams. Next week, I'll recap the draft picks down there. Anyway. I'm not sure you took notice of something I said in the last vlog concerning the new WWE Tag Team Championships. Not just that it looked like a throwback to when the WWE started getting awfully big for its britches. No, it was the inclusion of a, of a particular nine-letter word on the plate that has been more or less taboo in the association since shortly after they changed their name, thanks to the World Wildlife Fund getting up in their gills. You see, it was around the mid-20-aughts when Vince McMahon decided it was time to make his baby more family-friendly. He wanted more people to watch, and the TV-14 rating his show's been garnering was keeping potential viewers away. Namely, the viewers who didn't know the secret behind this physical soap opera, and saw the blood as true acts of violence. So... The board of directors, and the McMahons specifically, decided that the company would only be known by its initials, and those initials would be said forevermore. But more importantly, that specific nine-letter word was not to be uttered to describe the business as a whole. Instead, it would be known as the last two words of the signature of the company back when it was the WWF. The recognized symbol of excellence in sports entertainment. I guess they felt that wrestling was just too violent a phrase to be used and needed to be banned so that new viewers wouldn't think of it as over-the-top violence like during the Attitude Era of the late 90s and early aughts. And even though the copyright at the end of each show clearly said the company's full name of World Wrestling Entertainment, Vince did not allow the superstars to use the word. Oh, and they stopped calling them wrestlers, too. They were, and still are, called superstars. That's a nice change, anyway. The women were called divas for a good while, but thankfully that practice was dropped. The company would now be a sports entertainment company, not a wrestling company. Now, the word wrestling was spoke a time or two during these dark times, but I get the feeling Vince frowned upon those who said it, even if it was by accident. And I get the feeling that the only reason Johnny Gargano was able to nickname himself Johnny Wrestling in NXT was because the show wasn't on cable at the time. And Lord knows how Cody Rhodes got to keep his theme music, starting with Wrestling has more than one royal family for the last two years. But of course, things have changed drastically over the last year. Vince entered into a quasi-merger with UFC into the TKO conglomerate, and recently he sold most of his shares and left TKO to spend more time with his lawyers trying to get out of this whole hush money incident. His son-in-law, Paul Triple H Levesque, has been in charge of creative for the last few years, and Vince's daughter is part of the TKO group, keeping things together and making sure McMahon still has some control over the business they started over 60 years ago. But with the removal of the matriarch, also came the removal of the bands he placed on the WWE. I mean, we're actually seeing replays of bloody incidents in full color instead of the black and white we've been subject to over a decade. And one big ban that was dropped was that the word wrestling was no longer taboo. I mean, it's even on the WWE tag team title belts for crying out loud. And we long fans, fans who still call it wrestling despite Vince's anal ban, 
could not be happier that they dropped the veil and decided to call a spade a spade again. As for the fear that they'll lose their P TV PG rating, well, hell, Raw's moving to Netflix now. Once they get there, maybe they'll start allowing swear words that they've been blotting out from the fans chanting. And at the PLEs leave Peacock and the WWE Network and move to Netflix as well, maybe we'll see more blood and a bit more violence, which we know is not real, unless a mistake makes it real by accident. So, welcome back to the era of professional wrestling, WWE. While sports entertainment is technically what you do, Vince wasn't fooling us for a second. I'm Chris Rovin, the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. Pray for peace, and I'll see ya!